Welcome to the burrow, Harry. Did any of you ever give a thought of how worried I'd be? But, but Beds empty, no note, car gone. Um, Could have crashed Mom, out I... of my mind with worry. Did you care? Never, as long as I've but lived. Mom, now get outside and start denoming. I've had it up to here with all of you. Except you, of course, Harry. I'm not cross with you. <laughs> you ready to do a bit of denoming then, Harry? Well, I'm not sure, Ron. I've been with the Dursleys so much this summer, I'm a little rusty. Dad got the machine from Gamble and Japes, so we could test the power of our spells. Don't worry about getting the shield to the top, Potter. Once you learn some second year magic, you'll be able to ring the bell. Let's go, Harry. Hit the glass jar. We need to get on with the denoming. Truly smashing, Harry. Oh. When you're ready, we'll meet you in the barn. There are gnomes everywhere. Ugh. Look, they're up in the rafters. Okay, Harry, target the little pests and pretend I'll come off the rafter. Knock it off the rafter, Harry! That's got one! Pretty good, Harry. You've got the little pests on the run. They're heading for the garden. We'll meet you out in the barnyard. <laughs> Harry, we'd like you to meet our washing machine. Huh? Dad tried charming it. Now it's anything but charming. This is a good opportunity to practice some dueling. Dueling? And watch out when the washing machine opens its door. And keep moving around it in cast for Penda when the door is open. when its doors open. Petunia's kitchen. You look like you need a chocolate frog. Here you go. You have to knock the frog out before you can catch it. Right, let's go throw some gnomes. We'll meet you in the garden when you're ready, Harry. We need to get a move on with the denoming. Mum will go mad if she finds any gnomes left in the garden. Look, there's one over there. 
What you have to do is flip Hendo them until they're dazed and confused. Then you grab hold of them and spin them round. And chuck them out of the garden. Wow, I've got to try this. Be my guest. And remember, flip Hendo the gnome, pick it up, spin it round and chuck it over the low wall. <laughs> I bet you can't throw a gnome as far as Fred did. Or hit any of the targets in the fields over there. Number 59, Gregory the Smarmy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't forget, pick them up and spin them round and chuck them out of the garden. <laughs> Hurry up, Potter, there are gnomes over there. Number eight, Derwent Shrimpling. Brilliant throw, Harry. Throw Harry. Give it another go. That 
was rubbish! <laughs> that was rubbish! <laughs> Give it another go! It's late, boys. Time for bed. Big day tomorrow. Diagon Alley, then platform nine and three quarters. For someone who's never denomed before, you've done an excellent job, Harry. Almost as good as Gilderoy Lockhart himself. Thanks, Mrs. Weasley. I think you deserve a chocolate frog. You need to do better than that, Harry. <laughs> you need to do better than that, Harry. <laughs> Hurry up, Potter, there are gnomes over there. Weasley woke them all early the following Wednesday. She took a flower pot off the kitchen mantelpiece and everyone grabbed a handful of flu powder. Harry had never travelled by flu powder before and when he scattered the powder into the fireplace he immediately swallowed a lot of hot ash. <coughs> it felt as though he was being sucked down a giant plug hole. Harry tried to keep his eyes open but the whirling made him feel sick. He closed his eyes, wishing it would stop, and then he fell. <laughs> 